Hi, I'm Syed Karim. I'm the founder and CEO of Outernet. What is Outernet? Outernet is a global broadcast data service. Uh, we take uh, useful information from the web and deliver it to places that uh, have no connectivity to it. So in effect, you're delivering data offline. We make offline versions um, of content that is almost exclusively found on the internet. So what kind of content are you going to be transmitting? So we're currently operational, and what we transmit right now uh, um, in our test m media services is uh, you know, Wikipedia pages, um, um, e-books, Project Gutenberg books, um, some videos. Uh, we can deliver applications, um, mobile apps, as well as operating systems. And then, of course, you know, any, basically anything that uh, is in binary format. So anything that lives on either the internet or your computer is what we can distribute. And if I was to want to receive the service, what sort of thing would I need to have in order to be able to do that? Sure. So right now we're uh, really repurposing existing technology. We, we work off of DVB-S uh, infrastructure. And so um, uh, all you need is a DVB-S satellite dish, LNB, and um, a, a, a tuner that is Linux compatible. So uh, everything, uh, most every, uh, all of our stack is open source, um, and everything absolutely is free. And so what would that cost? So that would cost on the order of uh, local market uh, was probably about fifty dollars for um, the uh, LNB and and satellite dish and what is these some of these tuners can be about twenty or thirty bucks I've seen them. Okay. And you, you've also got a mobile-based service as well. Well, we're working on our mobile service. We should uh, be operational on our mobile service on July 1st, and this will be a global signal. Um, it'll be leveraging Inmarsat's um, uh, uh, L-band uh, frequency, and that will require a, uh, a particular kind of receiver that's not DVBS. However, um, our goal is not to um, make a, a, a closed path in terms of devices. Uh, we'll be publishing an open spec so that you know uh, there will be $10 software to find radios that will be able to listen to our service and decode and demod demodulate and de decode. So uh, are you a hardware company or are you a media company? Uh, no, we're, we're absolutely a media company. We're a vertically integrated uh, media company. I mean, uh, when I say vertically integrated, some there may be some pause in saying that, oh, well, there's leasing of some other satellites. We actually have it on, in our books and, and designs to have our own constellation um, of small sets. But uh, getting back to the point is, like, are we hardware or are we media? We're absolutely media. Hardware um, is just really to um, seed the market, so to speak. You know, these devices it's don't exist. It's a means to an end. It, it seeds the market right now. Eventually, it it's like if GPS wanted to guarantee that public should should use their things, um, they probably if they were a company, they would have probably had devices. But um, uh, uh, we really want to go down to that path and have the pervasiveness, pervasiveness of the media service until eventually others are making you know millions of these and at the lowest possible cost. And who are the customers going to be for the service? So customers are more than likely um, going to be those that uh, don't have internet access um, or have exceptionally expensive internet access. You know, you, in a lot of places, even when it's not expensive, it's really limited. You know, there's Facebook zero in a lot of places, but you know, that's a very walled garden approach. Um, and it's also not particularly rich content. There's no video that's available. There's not application delivery. Um, so at least we offer that um, um, uh, uh, more pieces of the internet rather than just what's on Facebook. Um, other customers and users, um, you know, uh, users uh, will be those that are in places that there is no access. And let's let's face it, most people don't have satellite um, uh, receivers or transceivers. Uh, so at least you know, even in places you know, whether it's Everest or whether it's the Grand Canyon or whatever it happens to be, it's like you'll have some kind of access to what's going on on a daily basis. And then other users, um, other cust uh, the customer base. Like for example, right now, World Bank is uh, one of our customers. Um, Radio Netherlands Worldwide, um, IREX, essentially anyone who has information, um, digital media that they want to get out, um, they're in touch with us and we're working with them. And who is financing the project? So financing, we've taken some investment capital. It's actually a small seed round from Media Development Investment Fund. And the rest actually has been customer-based customer, fi customer -based, um, uh, revenue growth. So um, you know, we have devices that have been pre-ordered, um, sold about 3,500 uh, 3, um, uh, mobile receivers. Um, which our expected delivery date would be the end of the summer. And so, and of course, we have project work as well as media delivery service. And so, um, most of our financing has been, you know, through operations. And so, what will you do in Africa? So, Africa particularly, so we already have um, 
uh, a signal that covers all of Africa. Uh, we're on Hotbird, which is you know Europe and Northern Africa, and then we're also on IS20, which covers all of Africa. Um, actually, all of Sub-Saharan Africa. And um, what are we doing there is we're focusing on uh, particular projects that uh, is solving a problem. For example, um, healthcare information um, with uh, an inter international NGO that wants to be able to get public healthcare information out to the public, as well as so so uh, solve um, information needs for their staff that's in really remote uh, locations that they don't have the the, um, the finances to be able to provide VSAT terminals to everyone. So we're able to solve that problem. From a public perspective, we'd also like to work with, um, and we'll be soon um, working with um, news outlets, um, uh, uh, legacy publishers, uh, uh, legacy media houses um, uh, who have newspapers but uh, also want to be able to get out to, um, to places where they don't have distribution. And so this is one way for us to do so, and we want to start in Namibia to do that and then also expand um, that model in other places.